This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. This is a sponsored message. I've been using Anchor as my podcast host for a while now, and it's been a pleasure to use. Anchor offers benefits that most other hosts do not. It's free to use, but it also has a collection of tools that allow you to create a podcast completely within the Anchor website or smartphone app. They distribute your show to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other distribution channels without any additional effort on your part, and you can make money from your podcast without any minimum audience size. So you can use it as a more traditional podcast host like I do, but it's also got everything you need to start a podcast from scratch. If you're keen to give it a shot, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's Tuesday, February 14th, 2023. Happy Valentine's Day, Platonic Friend Day, Chosen Family Day, to all those who celebrate whatever you celebrate on this day. Let's talk about the news. From Axios, cyclone lashing northern New Zealand causes outages and triggers evacuations. A state of emergency has been declared in several parts of New Zealand's North Island, including its most populous city and region, Auckland, due to the arrival of Cyclone Gabrielle. Auckland and some other northern regions are still recovering from widespread flooding a few weeks ago, and tens of thousands of homes have already lost power. Hundreds of flights have been cancelled, and about a third of New Zealand residents are under one of those aforementioned states of emergency. Some residents have been evacuated from potentially dangerous areas, and the storm is expected to continue rolling through the region till sometime today. From The Verge, Opera's building chat GPT into its sidebar. The company behind the Opera web browser has announced that it will be experimenting with a shorten feature in its browser, which allows users to click a button and, using AI technology called GPT, summarize with bullet points whatever is written on the page they're currently viewing. This is news largely because similar tools, though with broader functionality, are currently being tested on Microsoft's Edge browser, and Google has indicated it will be rolling out AI-supported functions throughout its product catalog as well. Those heavyweights run two of the world's most popular browsers, with Google's Chrome in a commanding lead with about 77% of the global market, while Microsoft's Edge has not quite 6% of the browser market, weighing in at fourth place. Opera is maybe making a grab for more of that pie, hoping to add to their current just under 2.5% of the global market though it's a fair bet most browsers will be adding GPT or GPT-like functionality to their products in the coming months. And from the Associated Press, EU foresees economy improving, but inflation still painful. There are some favorable economic winds blowing across the continent, according to the EU's executive branch, though the European Commission continues to encourage care and calm in the face of continued inflationary effects. Similar to what we're seeing in North America right now, EU officials are beginning to feel like the storm clouds are clearing and they might just bounce back sooner than anticipated, dodging the worst of a theorized economic downswing on the strength of lower-than-expected gas prices and successful energy conservation policies. Inflation is still high in most EU countries, but those in charge have also suggested that inflation rates have peaked, which doesn't mean they're out of the woods entirely, but it does suggest they could spend 2023 rebuilding and retrenching, paving the way for an unexpectedly booming 2024, even if that boom is substantially less potent than was predicted for 2024 pre-COVID and pre-Russian invasion. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.